Hey, I'm Bruce Naylor, and welcome to the first installment of the Biz Geek Show. Now, this replaces the IT shop. Now, the reason for that is, is that I felt that by calling it the IT shop, I was sort of limiting myself in the subject material that I could cover in these videos. This is a unscripted show. I do make a list of bullet points and topics I want to cover, but no fancy teleprompters here. This show is really about my passion for making money with technology, using technology to be, make money, to be productive. And this show is going to cover such things as business hardware, business software, using social media to grow and start a business, as well as uh, entrepreneurship, and also to how to build a profitable enterprise. Here's the thing. I, if I can motivate people to follow their dream, to work as something that makes them lives makes their lives better in many different ways that helps people if i can motivate just one person to live their dream then i feel i've accomplished some amazing success with this show now the way to ask your questions is to leave them in the comments down below or hashtag the biz geek and uh, you ask the questions about business, technology, entrepreneurship, and I will answer them. And I plan on doing these videos between once and twice a month. But the bottom line is, I want to encourage each and every one of you, if you can, if you have that desire, if you have that passion to become an entrepreneur, then I want to encourage you to do so. My daddy always told me, you'll never make any real money working for the other guy. And let me tell you, that is true. But now, just a bit of a rant, if you will. Indulge me. The other day, I was having a Twitter conversation, and I was asked about my thoughts on some new Apple gear. You know, the new Apple mouse, the new uh, Magic trackpad, the new Magic keyboard. I said, you know, I, they're fine, but I have no reason to replace mine. I certainly am not going to go out and spend all that money on this stuff. No need to. But then somebody chimed in and goes, well, you must be so lucky to have such a great job where you can afford all this stuff if you wanted it. And I got to tell you, that really pissed me off. It, it just, God damn it, it pissed me off. Because here's the thing. You want to talk about luck? Let's get real for just a minute. When I was nine years old, when my friends were sound asleep on Saturday morning, I was out delivering newspapers. And if it was snowing, I was out knocking on doors, shoveling people's uh, stairs and their patios and their driveways for just a couple bucks. When I was 13 years old and all my friends were out playing basketball, baseball, riding their bikes, uh -uh, not me. I was at a car wash, washing cars by hand for a dollar fifteen an hour. When I was in high school and the other kids were cruising around their cars, going to McDonald's and hanging out with their girlfriends, I was working at gas stations, buying and selling used cars and fixing it up and selling for a little bit of extra money, uh, attending, going to JA and reading books on business and, and doing that sort of thing. And when I got out of uh, school, uh, as my friends, they were trying to get jobs. Their dream job was like Chrysler and General Motors. Mine was to start my own business, and by the time I was 30, well, they were coming to me to get the money to buy their homes or get out of a financial jam because I started a mortgage business that did really, really, really well. I, uh, I'm normally up and at them by 5 a.m. every day, and I normally do business clear up to around 9, 9.30 in the evening. When my friends, when your friends, I should say, when they want to get off work and go drinking beer, hanging out, or they're binge watching Netflix, guess what I'm doing? I'm doing the grind, buddy. I'm doing the grind. I'm on there making deals. I'm working on websites, creating videos. I'm working on my businesses. That's what I'm doing. And that's the thing. You, that's the difference between an entrepreneur and a entrepreneur. You cannot have these things by just wishing for them. There was no luck here. If you believe that's luck, then put it up your shirt, pal, because that's not luck. That's working hard to get the cred to have that meeting at nine o'clock at night that let me get a deal that looked like luck to you. That's what luck's all about. It's a hard work, it's preparation, it's years of putting in the grind to make all this happen. If you can't do the grind, then you're not going to be successful in any business venture you do. 
So that's my rant. It ain't luck, man. It's a lot of hell of a lot of hard work. And yeah, I'm in my 50s and I'm getting ready to start a yet another new company. And it's going to take a lot of hard work. And yeah, it's sacrifice. And on the weekends, when other people are out doing barbecues and going to the lake and so forth, I'm sitting there reading reports. I'm putting numbers together. I'm doing analysis. I'm doing competitive analysis. I'm doing market research. I'm putting in the grind to make my dreams a reality because it ain't going to happen with me sitting on my ass watching Netflix all night long or getting drunk with my buddies or doing a million other things that do nothing but suck up time. And that's the reality. And that's my rant. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the concept behind the Biz Geek Show. I want your questions down below. Or again, tweet me at hashtag the Biz Geek and I'll answer them. Thank you so much for watching.